Now let's see what is mapping. So mapping is essentially a data structure uh, where we have a key and we have a value. Let's say uh, we have a key and uh, and a value, right? So we can also write in this manner. Let's say mapping. Uh, mapping. We can specify that we have a key and uh, then we have a value right so what this means is that we we can easily let's say we take an example of a college university and uh, let's say in a college university uh, we have a certain piece of id assigned to a certain uh, student right and through that id a college board can easily access their name their their roll number their date of birth and all kind of stuff right you can take that uh, example and just put it down in the code right so that's the main uh, th that that's the main essentially usage of mapping and also uh, if you're familiar with the uh, uh, let's say another another language let's say javascript or java in javascript uh, it's very similar to object and in java uh, if you're familiar with java it's very similar to hash map right and uh, yeah let's just start coding so let's say what we can do so let's just uh, make a mapping and uh, let's say we have a mapping and uh, we can uh, let's say what we can do uh, we can say that uh, so let's let's uh, make uh, make a contract which uh, can get gender from let's say address right so let's do that this is uh, we're going to be using we're going to be coding this statement using mapping so let's say we have a map right so this map uh, takes an address as a key key type and then map that to a value right so not to use value right over here because uh, we we is just a just for a reference but this key can be maybe like you can add key this key can be address it can be bytes it can be uint anything right and we are mapping this address from key to let's say uh we are mapping this to let's say string because we're going to be getting gender right so gender, gender is essentially going to be a string right so we, we want to get users gender from their address right so we're going to get we're going to use address and then we're going to use address as a key and value as the string because we can get gender gender is going to be a string cool so this essentially is going to be a uh, public because we want to see that and uh, then we're going to be using get let's say gender right so we have this thing now so what that does this thing i already specified that while typing this thing now we can also add a comment if you want to make it more clear so we can able to able to access someone's uh someone's let's say gender from let's say their address uh from their address cool so or it can be anything let's say we can also uh let's say we have this get so it's, it's again an comment let's say we have this uh get gender and as I said that uh, this is going to be a string it's, it's going to be an address so let's say we have an address of uh, 0x uh, something 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 and uh, this uh, this entire array can able to access the string right I hope that this make more sense to you and uh, yeah let's move forward right so now we have specify a mapping right over here and uh, then we are gonna make let's say make a function of uh, 
get user user let's say gender and uh, we are and this gender essentially uh, take an address of user because we are going to be we can passing the user and it's going to be a public because we want to see that we're going to view and returns and uh, you can return a string of in memory and uh, yeah so i will let you know what is this uh, view memory and you know, all kind of stuff in the, in the upcoming videos right so let me just leave the font but yeah so now we have this function of get uh, get users gender which is going to take in parameter of address of users which is public which which is essentially going to be view returns a memory of string cool and uh, we're going to return let's say return uh we're going to return the get gender right and uh, this gender should take the users because because as i pass this address as the user so you can get this users cool so let's move forward and let's say make a, so if you want to set uh, the gender let's say if you want to set the, the gender we can also do that let's make a function for that let's make a function a uh, function to set user let's say gender and uh, this gender is going to be a string of memory and it's going to be set the let's say we're going to set their um, let's say what kind of set user gender right so we're going to set that and uh, now what we can do and again this should be a public because we're going to view this and uh, then we're going to get this get user get uh, so get gender and uh, this get gender we're gonna send the message dot let's say message dot gender is equals to this user gender right user gender cool so we can set that and uh, i hope that makes sense that what i'm trying to do right over here uh, by this function we can easily get the user's gender right from the array of addresses and from here we can set their gender right uh, this memory means we are going to be setting their addresses so that's why we use this keyword of memory i will let you know whether this local storage kind of stuff works storage works in this solidity language in the upcoming videos right this is essentially a public function a public function and uh, then you have this gender get gender it is essentially gonna take a message dot sender and then use this user gender. Save this, compile this. Now let's see if I have funds in my wallet. Right. So let's say yeah, I have some sort of funds. Let's say use environment for injected web3. So yeah, so I injected my web3 right over here. You will see it's connected to my first wallet. This is my essentially my first wallet right over here, which have a couple of Rinkeby ETH, right? So let's just uh, deploy this and uh, let's say we can specify that my current address it's gonna be this which I deployed right over here. Let's copy my address just copy my address right again just deploy this we'll open up this proper right and uh, just confirm the transaction so once that confirm you will see this is deploy contract section will pop up yeah now it's completed you will see this is our main so we can set the gender get the gender and uh, we can also uh, essentially 
get the user gender let's say we're going to be using this function of let's say user gender let's say we're going to be using i'm a male and uh, yeah we're going to transact it will pay again open up and just ask you to sign and pay the gas fee confirm yeah so now it shows us that this is my gender so now that my first gender it's set to male right it's set to male now this yeah this is a get gender now we need to specify uh let's say if i just specify my address right over here and call this it shows us that it's a male because i already said that right and that's also the same you can also get the user by their address let's say this call it shows us male cool so now this address has a gender of male cool so now let's use a different address let's say we can be using a different address in my account too let's say we have this account too connect right now it's like connected to my second account and uh, let's just delete this right from here and click on this deploy it will open up this pop-up to pay the gas fee uh confirm and uh, we can say second address so yeah now it's confirmed and just copy this address so we can use that okay copy this let's say yeah. so now if you, if you click on this we'll see this is a use it to do so this is a your okay so click that we can on this yeah so we have this user gender let's say we're going to be making this as a female transact so now you need to pay a gas to set your gender confirm so once that confirmed now it's confirmed and now you can essentially get the gender by the certain editor let's say i just specify this address call it shows female cool so i'll see you in the next video